Hey guys, before we get started, if you like Doja Cat, smash that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on all post notifications. Watch till the end, all about Doja Cat in less than five minutes. Amala Ratna Zandili Lamini was born on October 21st, 1995 in LA, California to mother Deborah Elizabeth Swaya, a Jewish American painter, and father Dumisani Lamini, actor, composer, and film producer of Zulu ethnicity, best known for Sarafina. However, Doja Cat admits that she has never met her father, nor has he ever been a part of her life, which he denied. Amala is known professionally as Doja Cat and is an American singer and rapper, but before she became Doja Cat, she was Amala, a youth who lived a quote-unquote sporty life in Oak Park, California. Doja Cat's childhood involved tap, ballet, and jazz lessons, along with surf camp trips in Malibu. However, at age 11, Doja Cat and her mother moved to Sherman Oaks, California, where she practiced Hinduism for four years while living in an ashram. At age 16, Doja Cat dropped out of high school and spent time downloading beats from YouTube to create her own music with the aid of GarageBand. Doja Cat did mention, however, that life after dropping out of school was messy. By this time, Doja Cat had created her new stage name, which she stated was a play on her cat and the weed she smoked. And I quote, I was heavily addicted to weed and weed culture. So when I began rapping, I thought of the word Doja and how it sounds like a girl's name, close quote. In 2012, she released So High on SoundCloud with 12 views. One year later, in 2013, she signed to RCA Records with a joint venture deal with Dr. Luke's vanity label, Kimosabi Records, in 2014. Once officially signed in 2014, Doja Cat released her debut EP, Purr, and was featured on the TV series Empire in the third episode of the first season. With things finally happening in her music career, Doja Cat signed to OG McCoy's label, OGG and collaborated on Monster, which was a part of McCoy's mixtape. On February 1st, 2018, Doja Cat released a promotional single, Roll With Us, which hit Spotify's Global Viral 50 chart once released. Early that same year, Doja Cat released Go Town and then Candy. Candy became a viral TikTok dance challenge in late 2019 and peaked at 86 on the Billboard's Top 100. In March of 2018, Doja Cat released her album, Amala. However, the album, which had a mixture of genre including R&B and dancehall, was largely ignored by critics. On August 10th, 2018, Doja Cat uploaded the self-produced music video, Moo, on YouTube. And in February of 2019, Doja Cat released a single and accompanying video of Tia Tamara featuring Rico Nasty. Hot Pink was released on November 7th, 2019, and eventually peaked at number 9 on the Billboard's 200. On January 28, 2020, Doja Cat's song Say So became the fourth single off of her album Hot Pink. Not only did the single peak at number 5 on the Billboard, but it gained TikTok fame as well. During the current pandemic, Doja Cat has faced a few controversial topics due to homophobic Twitter posts she made back in 2015. Initially, instead of apologizing for her past discretions, she defended her remarks stating, and I quote, I called a couple people f when I was in high school in 2015. Does this mean I don't deserve support? I've said f roughly 15,000 times in my life. Does saying f mean you hate gay people? I don't think I hate gay people. Gay is okay. Close quote. Unfortunately, that remark only added more fuel to the fire, and it was only when things started looking even worse on her side that she attempted to make several public apologies in regards to the topic. She was also cancelled and uncancelled this year due to racist comments that resurfaced in a chat room she frequented at a younger age. Doja Cat, however, denied the rumor, stating, and I quote, one of the most awful rumors that I've ever encountered, close quote. 
The 24-year-old artist has released music such as Freak, Boss Bitch, and Juicy, to name a few. For those of you out there with a YouTube channel, click the TubeBuddy link below to get the best optimization results for your channel. The options stem from both a paid or free version, whichever you choose. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.